Hi and welcome to Ivalita's Designs and Fresh Folds. Today I'm going to show you a wedding card. So let's get started. Um, to make this dress here, I've used the second largest nestability die of the um, like large scallop circles. Okay, and all I've done is um, create a pattern. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, what I've done is I've just drawn one side. Really easy to do here. Just have a play with a pattern on your scallop circle. Draw one side, okay, and then flip it over so you miss two uh, of the scallops up here and match that up. Okay, and then just you could trace this on. I'm just quickly showing you how to do it. Look, there's there's quite a few of these little dresses and this idea around. Okay, so that's how I got the, the wedding dress. Trace one onto a circle, um, pop it away as a pattern, and don't throw out these pieces, because I reckon these would look really cool as wings on something. So that's another idea you can use with the cutout. Okay, so we've got our main dress here, and I've cut a coat hanger from these uh, quick cuts die. It's a little hanger die, and I've glued that onto the card. Then using a white gel pen I've just um, drawn little uh, little ties up here to connect it to the hanger. Now my decoration on the bottom of the card it's these uh, clear stamps I think they're called dot flourishes but I'll have um, I'll have a picture of that up on the blog and I've stamped it once in white and then stamped it again in black just to give a nice contrast on this dark purple card. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some of these little flowers all to the bottom of my skirt here and maybe up here and um, I'll have a play with that. Oops. So it's just a matter of arranging the little flowers where you'd like them along the bottom of the skirt. Okay, and then I've got even smaller um, little flowers here, and they've been punched out. This is a tiny little daisy, uh, this tiny little punch. I'm not even sure who puts that punch out now. I bought it such a long time ago. So I just want to poke them in between. Okay, so I've added some of these tiny little daisies and where's my other one? This little small retro punch. So I've just felt like using some of my old punches. I'm going to add some of these little um, EK Success leaves as well. And I've put some of these little um, spirals, um, one on either side and one up here. Okay, just in all uh, different shades of purple. So I'm just going to add these little leaves in and around the place too. Next I'm going to add some glitter into all the centres of the white flowers. So I'm just going to put a nice little blob on them. And I'm just using a, it's a purpley blue sort of fleck glitter for this. I'm just going to cover that on all that. Okay, and you can see that. Well, it's a bit hard to see that in the on white on white, but it's really pretty. It's looking really pretty. Okay, I'm going to add some, some crystal effects to the top one too. Okay, and I'm going to do all the, um, the coat hanger in glitter as well. Just very carefully go over the hanger. Just staying on the white part. Bit shaky there. Okay. And then just cover that in glitter. Okay, that looks like I might have to just get a little brush and clean up. 
clean up around that. Okay, so to finish this off, I've added two flowers here from this um, medium retro punch and a swirl, medium swirl, and some more of these little retro flowers that I've got around the skirt, and um, some of the little tiny daisies, and with a brad in the middle. Okay, and down here I've just put a little um, word window punch that says for the newlyweds, and mounted that up on the modern label punch. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.